Today we had a problem. Curb rash. We're going to do some testing to try to figure out what happened. I made a homemade curb. Took a lot of measurements to see what this radar will and will not do. All right, let's get this project started by building the simulated curb. After a few rough measurements, we'll start cutting the wood. Now that we have all of our pieces cut out, we'll screw them together. We don't want it too heavy duty in case we bump it with the car. All right, let's get the curb set up and start the test. The Model 3 with performance rims sits about seven inches off the ground to the lowest point of the front fender. So for this first test, we made the curb seven inches tall to simulate the car barely rubbing. As I pull the car forward, you'll see the radar counting down. There's 20 inches. I knew at this point that there was a problem. As I walk around to the front of the car, I'm shocked to see that the bumper is only five inches from the curb. It said 20 inches to the nearest obstacle inside the car. I stoop down and take a glance and think, man, this would definitely hit the curb. Now I know exactly what happened in that parking lot. All right, I think we can all agree that would have been a definite trip to the body shop. So I'm going to score that one body shop one, me zero. All right, so that was at a height that was barely scraping like what I encountered when I shredded the front of the lip of the car here. But let's be fair and put it high enough where if we would have hit it, it would tear the whole bumper off. <laughs> Let's see if it, if it catches it there. That's the big question. All right, so now that we got the curb moved a little higher, let's hop in and try again. This time we have the curb height set at 11 inches. As I pull the car closer, I'm even more concerned this time because I know that curb is at 11 inches. I see 20 on the radar, that's enough for me. Let's hop out and take a look. Man, as I walk around the front, it's the same thing again. Five inches, no way. Way off. And that's sitting at 11 inches in the car. And the lowest point is about seven and a half inches. So I hate to say it, but if this was a curb, that whole bumper would be gone. All right, it's body shop two and me zero. All right, now that we know that it'll barely scrape at the seven and a half inch mark, which happened to me in the parking lot, we tested it at 11 inches, which is two and a half or three inches above the lowest part of the lip, which would probably smash the bumper in pretty good. Let's see how high we actually have to get it before the radar starts working. All right, so this time we got it pretty high. This is simulating a wall, a guardrail, another vehicle. There's very few curbs that sit at 16 inches tall. Let's pull forward and see what happens. Already right off the bat, I can see that the radar is working much better. And there it is, a foot away from it, we get the stop command. I stop the car. I gotta say, my confidence is high on this one. It worked perfect that time. Had a foot and it said stop. And there's a foot, it worked perfectly. 
Uh, let's see, since they're little radar guys, they're about 14 and a half inches off the ground. Makes sense why it would work. They must shoot straight out. Which means stuff under 14 inches is risky. That's my findings. All right, so that point goes to me. Body shop two, me one. So what did we find out? At seven inches, which is seven, seven and a half inches, which is where the lowest point in the car would touch the parking block or the curb, I found that there was absolutely no radar detection whatsoever. Then we moved it up to 11 inches. 11 inches puts us, what, three and a half inches above the lowest point of the car? Still no detection whatsoever. Not just none, but an erroneous detection, which would lead us to believe that there was space when there's not. Then we take it up to uh, 16 inches. 16 inches, uh, we were getting full detection, exactly 12 inches, it said stop, and uh, we stop the car, get out, I measure it, it's 12 inches on the dot. So it worked perfectly, and that makes total sense because the radar um, pickups, or the radar, where the radar comes out, actually is about 14 and a half inches. So if it is shooting straight out off of 14 and a half inches, then it makes sense that anything below that's undetected. If you like the video, you can uh, subscribe, like, all that good stuff right here. If you wanna see more content, uh, leave some comments down the bottom. If you just wanna ask some questions about the radar, I'm willing to do more tests. I got the thing set up, but as far as I'm concerned right now, I think we solved it. That damage sucks, I'm pretty upset. Not blaming Tesla, not blaming Elon, don't get me wrong. I just wanna understand the limitations so that I don't go around just smashing the crap out of my car, you know what I mean? I'm sure none of you guys wanna do that either. All right, man, let's get it, get the heck out of here. It's hot, you can see, look, it's time to go. Ha <laughs> ha!